What's up guys, Jermaine here. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about the best long-term stock that you should be owning right now. Some of these stocks, some of these positions have had a run-up lately, but I still believe that on the long term, they have plenty of breathing room to go and a lot more growth ahead of them. And these are stocks that I want to give you today. So if you guys are new here, my name is Jermaine Young. I talk all things financial related. I'm a real estate investor out of New York City. I'm a stock market investor. I uh, talk all things about credit cards and little ways that I do to make extra money on the side to help you guys make extra money too. So this is content that you like. Subscribe to the channel. Greatly appreciate to have you here with me. So let's get right into it. And it's the first stock here. All right, the first stock we have here is FIGS. T ticker symbol F-I-G-S. Sounds just likely what it, um, the ticker symbol is. And right now it's trading $43.62 per share. As you see here on the year-to-date chart, it did have a run-up um, on the year on the year-to-date. Last year around this time it was around $30 something dollars a share. We are around $43. I do believe this stock is gonna have plenty more room to run. Right now, the stock has a market cap of six billion dollars. It doesn't pay a dividend, there's no dividend yield on this. Now, Figs is a direct of consumer healthcare apparel uh, lifestyle company but is the largest in its space as far as direct to consumer health care so this is a stock that i believe in the long term is going to do well and i think it's something that should be bought and held now but like i always tell you guys do your research when you buying any of these stocks that i'll talk about and you know investing you're investing on your own terms so let me give you the second stock here that i have on this list of long-term investments that should be bought now all right, class, second stock that we have here is Zillow Group. Zillow is an online platform that you can buy, sell properties on. Also, they give you a rental management portion on there where, like, if you have properties that you rent out and you want to use them um, as, like, a rental management firm, you can do that as well. Zillow, I know, has been lately buying properties themselves and actually reselling them on the market. So I think in the long term, Zillow is going to be a good company definitely something that i don't see going anywhere but may in the future be part of uh, a wave that i think that's going to come with it is eventually the real estate agent is going to be eliminated from the market that's just my opinion that's what i think in the long term is going to happen now zillow has had a significant pullback here which i believe is a, a great buying opportunity at the high last year around this time it was around uh 200 a share Currently, we're trading evenly at $114. Also, there's been a pullback today, as you can see, of 3%. Zillow Group, like I said, is an online platform, real estate. Um, so right now, market cap is $28 billion. Year-to-date change, they are down 13%. Definitely, definitely, I see this as a buying play right here. If this is something that you like, that you wanted to get into something, you know, to add some kind of real estate investing into your portfolio, I definitely think this right here is a definitely great buying opportunity being that it's down so much on the year to date. This is a company that's definitely not going nowhere. I always like to say, you know, best times to invest in companies and when it's blood on the streets and definitely is blood on the streets and Zillow group that you see here today. So let me give you the next stock here on my list of long term investments that should be bought in hell now. All right, class. Next stock that we have here, which is the third one on this list, it's Tyler Technologies. Tyler Technologies, as you see right now, is trading at $469.23 per share. It is on the year to date, uh, about leveled out. It did have a significant pullback at one point around uh, March, and it's kind of regained to where it's back at now. It's 52 week high, we're almost there. 479. Definitely believe this stock is going to do good over the long term, something that I don't believe is going to hurt you. It's not a dividend play, as you see here. Market cap on this is $19 billion. Year to, year to date, it's up 7.67%. So, you know, it's already had some growth, but I definitely believe over the long term, you'll do fantastically well in Tyler Technologies. You'll get the growth in this. So let's go to the next stock that we have here on this list. Okay, next one we have on this list here is PayPal Holdings, the OG of sending money securely. This is one of the first in the game, and I think over the long term, definitely going to be here, definitely something that's not going anywhere, and I definitely see way more growth potential in this stock, especially being that they are getting into the crypto space, so we're kind of waiting to see what's going to happen with them, if they're going to actually create their own crypto wallets, 
for customers to have, but definitely, definitely not anything that's going anywhere. As you probably have noticed or not noticed, a lot more retailers actually in the checkout section on their pages have like, you know, the uh, secure checkout ways where it's usually like a, um, the credit card where you can put in that or you can put in PayPal. So just in case if you don't want to give like your credit card information to so many different sites, you can use a pass-through way and that's PayPal. PayPal, that's where it comes in at. Also sending money to individuals, PayPal. PayPal is a company over the long term, definitely is going to be here, definitely not going anywhere. I see a lot of growth potential in it. Now on the year to date, it's about leveled out, but as you can see from the beginning of the year, it has had a run up here. Right now, currently it's trading at $293 per share. It's down a little over 1% on this day, the time of recording this. Market capitalization, $344 billion. This is by means no small company. So far on a year to date, it's up 25% on this. Not a dividend play, but definitely a growth stock that I can see definitely going somewhere with it. So let's give you the next one here on this list. All right, class, last stock on this list is Hub Group. Hub Group is currently trading at $65.56 per share time recording on this video. We have also a pullback on this. All the stocks today at the time I'm recording, as you notice, have had a pullback. It's, right now, today is blood in the streets in the stock market. So, you know, definitely a good time to invest when you see, like, pullback on red days. That's days where I like to go crazy in the stock market, you know, so... Down a little over 3% on the day on this. As you can see on the year-to-day chart, we have some nice growth here. Some nice, you know, growth run-ups. A little bit of pullback. But, you know, that's good times to invest in things. Market capitalization on this stock, $2.2 billion. Year-to-date, we're up 14%, almost 15% on this. Definitely something that I believe that, you know, plenty of growth in the long term. Something that you can't lose in. All right, guys, so that's my list of the best long-term stocks to own right now. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Is it stocks that you own, stocks that you plan on owning? I'd love to hear from you guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, as always, subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram handle is Young. simply just because it's a lot of fakes out there. And thanks for watching. As always, until next time, peace.